out there in YouTube land uh, this is Liz again and today I have another video for you and it is going to be about some it cosmetics products that I recently purchased now I just filmed another video uh, my March favorites and for some reason my webcam kind of bites ass and films really glitchy I am working on getting a real camera so that will be happening soon so if the quality of this is glitchy and crappy I apologize and I would ask that you please stick it out to the end because it really helps me out if you watch the videos to the end. Plus, you know, I will hope that you want to watch it till the end because they're fun. Okay, so what I got um, was, or I should say is, um, the very well-known CC Cream by It Cosmetics. Um, they recently came out with like a glowy CC Cream. This is not that one. Excuse me, illuminating CC Cream. This is the regular... CC cream with an SPF of 50 plus. Now, if you watch any of my videos at all, you will know that my absolute holy grail is the Amore Pacific Color Control Cushion Compact. Um, I absolutely am in love with that product. It's expensive, but it's worth every penny. Um, I did a, a video about it. You can look that up if you want under Elizabeth Feig on YouTube um, and check that out. But that is what I will wear. I have a few other things. I have the Big Easy by Benefit. I have a Maybelline Dream one. Um, you know, but generally what I wear is the more Pacific. Now, I just kept seeing, so, seeing and hearing so much about this damn It Cosmetics CC Cream that I thought I would try it. Now, what I love about the more Pacific one is that it's... Um, more than just makeup, it's skincare, and it's it's really good for your skin, and that is what was attractive about this to me. Um, I am becoming a middle-aged woman, as it were, um, you know, which is really weird, but I am, and my skin is aging along with the rest of me, and so I'm interested in cosmetics that are going to be good for my skin. Now, again, that is what attracted me to the... Um, a cosmetic CC cream because it has all these claims. I did a lot of research on it. I watched a lot of videos and I was convinced that it's good stuff. Um, it is expensive, so I did want to do my research and make sure it was something I wanted. Now, it costs $38. I got mine at Sephora. You can get it there or you can get it at um, on these guys' website. Um, and yeah, there's a um, several different shades. I got mine in the shade Rich. Mate, no, there's not several different shades. There's only five which people complain about. Um, however, oh well, I don't know what to say about that. I got mine in the color Rich and it is too dark for my skin. What I do is I mix it with another foundation I have, another good high quality um, foundation that was given to me by somebody who used to work for this company. Um, and it is in the color NC15 if that tells you anything about where it's from. Um, it's in the shade NC15, and what I will do is do one pump of this, because it, while it looks like a squeezy tube, it is actually a pump. I will pump out one pump of this onto my hand, and then put a drop of the NC15 onto it and mix it. No problem, it's absolutely perfect. Okay, so what I use with this, what have I been using? Um, I think I use my beauty, I use my beauty blender, um, I have a Makeup Geek buffing brush that is wonderful. Oh, mostly what I've been using is, and I don't have it with me of course, is a little tart brush that came with one of their um, BB creams or CC creams that they don't sell anymore, but it's really cool. It almost looks like a little paintbrush, but the bristles are like gradated from short to long. It's a really neat little brush. That's what I've been using. You can use whatever you want. And um, this stuff is all that it's cracked up to be. Um, I still have swatches on my hand from those March favorites video I just shot, but I do want to show you what this looks like on my hand. Um, I can show you the consistency and a little bit of what the coverage is like. Now, the coverage on this is, um, I would say, it covers discoloration. Any kind of discoloration you're going to have, this would cover. If you have textured skin, this isn't going to work very well for you. If you've textured skin, scarring or acne, um, 
and you're used to really full coverage, this isn't going to be the product for you. However, if you just have some discolor, you have pretty good skin to begin with, it's not very textured, and your issue is mostly discoloration like mine is from the sun, um, this product is going to be excellent for you. Okay, so again, while it looks like a squeezy tube, it is not. It is a pump, and it pumps out like so. And that is what it looks like. As you can see, it's not runny. It's not super thick either, but when you put it on, it doesn't just, you know, when you pump it out, it doesn't just run down your hand. Again, mine is in the shade deep, which is the darkest color, um, because what I find lately is that that's what I usually need is the darkest color of whatever it is I'm buying. And so that is what I did. And like I said, oh, this stuff is so nice, you guys. Like I said, it is too deep for me, but I lighten it up and it's perfect. Okay, so the first thing I notice about it is the scent. Um, and I wanna say real quickly is that it doesn't stay, the scent doesn't stay, it immediately dissipates. Once you get the product onto your face and spread it out, the smell disappears and you don't notice it at all anymore. In fact, I wish it would stick around a little more because I love, love how it smells. It's really like um, citrusy and almost menthol-y, really fresh and woodsy and just nice. It kind of wakes you up. Um, okay, so again, this is what it looks like. And the consistency, <laughs> the consistency, I'm trying to move along here kind of quickly, um, is it's got a lot of pigment in it. It's really hydrating, but it's just loaded with that pigment. Can you see that? How it's, you know, just covering up my skin like that? So it does have a really good, you know, I would even say kind of heavy coverage, but it's different than like full coverage, regular um, foundation um, in the sense that it's a really thin consistency, <laughs> really thin consistency, and it's not going to smooth over any kind of texture. It's only going to cover color. Um, in fact, I'll show you. It Look at this. It just covers up my tattoo there. Can you see that? That's kind of amazing. Now, this is a heavy swatch. I'm sure I could sheer it out to not totally cover the tattoo, but, you, you know, this speaks a little bit to the pigmentation of this stuff. Um, it is highly, highly pigmented. And again, this is one pump, and one pump dispenses quite a bit. In fact, I, especially because I mix it with a drop of other stuff, I usually have a little bit left over, you know, and so I use it to paint on my chin or whatever, but down my neck. But this stuff is really, really nice. Again, it, it dries down, the finish is very dewy, um, which is pretty, but I don't like, I don't know, that's not my thing necessarily for every day. So what I do is I will take, guys, what did I do with it? Oh, this is so me. Oh, it's right here in front of me. Um, I will take the It Cosmetics uh, Bye Bye Pores and finish it with that and talk about flawless. Talk about beautiful porcelain, yummy doll skin. Yes, that's what it does. The CC It Cream plus the Bye Bye Pores, it's just gorgeous. Now, um, the other finishing powders I use are the loose version of Tarte's Smooth Operator or Too Faced's loose version of Primed and Poreless, and they all look beautiful over this. This uh, CC Cream, it's just a beautiful, beautiful... Um, product. It, it blurs your pores. It covers your, any kind of discoloration. And when you finish it off with a powder, I think no matter what powder you used, um, you're going to get a beautiful, beautiful result. Okay. So again, this is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. It costs $38. And the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, it's also, it's called like HD Silk Finishing Powder. Uh, bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish HD Micro Powder in the shade Translucent, $24, $38. An expensive combo, but both of these will last forever, and they're worth every penny. So if you want a really good BB or CC cream, I highly, highly recommend these. They're excellent, excellent, excellent products. 
Okay, so that is my little review of the CC Cream and Bye Bye Pores by It Cosmetics. I hope it was helpful to you at all. Um, again, if the quality of this video is not that good, hang tough. I'm going to be getting a camera because I make new videos all the time. I'm a makeup whore. I love talking about all things makeup, and I would love it if you would comment down below. Tell me, have you tried It Cosmetics? What do you have? Do you like it? Do you hate it? anything, any of your thoughts. And also, if you would please subscribe. Okay, thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye, YouTube!